thing. So, a quick evening tour of Paida Primary Teachers College. This wooden building was the original staff house. All that noise is coming from the generator. You see on the girls' dorm there, they have solar panels. There's the classroom block in the distance. I'm swimming past quickly. It's very pretty here. Very cool. There's the tree. I don't know if you can see the benches. Students meet under it. Here's my house right on the school grounds. Under construction. This can be evidenced by the bricks. And all this digging. The red door is where my bedroom is. This will be another wall that's being added in, give me a bit more room. Let me move around more easily at night. Here's the washroom. It's dark in here. And can't see, but there's my unfinished pit latrine. Mangoes on the ground. <laughs> this will be where my bedroom is. Papyrus mat ceilings. <laughs> there are the old doors and windows that were replaced. There's the new window. This big hole in the ground is where I'll put people that mess with me. No, actually, that will be where my solar panel goes. Everything works out as planned. So I'm not staying there right now, but I'm staying with my supervisor, who is the principal of Pida Primary Teachers College. So around the corner, let's give you a swing around of the campus there. Boys' dorms are off in the distance that way, and I'll blind you with sunlight. There's some mysterious ruins. Haven't figured out what those are yet. Down that way, you can see the path to the borehole. This is a community water source. That little uh, structure in the distance. That other one with the pipe sticking out is a latrine. Staff latrine. I'm important, so I get my own latrine all to myself. There's one of the sweet black and white crows. I can't see anything right now. Like, as soon as we get past this sun glare. <coughs> There's the path to town up there. Maybe you'll see people traversing it. This is a hole in the ground next to a white anthill. They build a fire in the hole and they try to aggravate the white ants into coming out. The ants come out, they catch them, fry them, and eat them. Not a, not a terrible snack, but not quite Doritos either. There's a tree swarming with bees. Every now and then the bees will kind of spread out and encompass the whole area, make my morning difficult. This is my supervisor's house where I've been staying for a few weeks now while my house is under construction. This is the Tudor block right behind where the Tudors stay. Yep, pan. If anyone bothered to watch this much, he must be bored. And this is where I will be living for the next two years. Not this building, the other building I just showed you. But, uh...